so I fell for an Instagram ad and it's here now so I'm gonna unbox it for you <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Karina from Paradium Thrifts. If you are new here, I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And like I said, I fell for an Instagram ad. I mean, you guys have probably seen it because I feel like it's being directed towards the reseller community. It is a reseller, you know, product. The Instagram name is Vaulted Closet and they were selling mystery boxes um, with shoes that are supposed to have an estimated MSRP of about $1,000 and I paid around $100. <laughs> Actually, I lied. I paid $80 and it was free shipping. So we're gonna see how this goes i chatted a little bit with the person who is running it because i was just really interested you know this thing popped out of nowhere i wanted to know it's a vibe i wanted to see what it was all about and she's actually a reseller who is a single mother and she just wanted to liquidate some of her inventory so she came up with this idea and i mean you know i fell for it so we're gonna see how this box goes all right and of course before we get into it we're gonna do a little reseller highlight and i'm actually wearing the shirt right now this is it it is so cute but when i tuck it in like this it reminds me of this pinterest post that i have put in like vision boards i've had it like everywhere and i just absolutely love this look and this shirt 100% gives me this vibe so very very happy that I can finally like be that girl so I bought this top from cloth council on Poshmark I got a bundle of stuff she was running like a 3 for 25 sale so I got this for myself and I got two other things to resell and she was really sweet when I spoke with her she shipped it out super quick so very happy about that if you guys have a second definitely give her a check out on Poshmark and I think her Instagram handle is the same okay you guys I've actually had this sitting in my hallway for about two days and I haven't been able to unbox it um, but we doing it now okay I'm so excited I've really been looking forward to this ever since I bought it I just I wanted to know what it was all about because I mean MSRP doesn't really mean anything in you know the reseller world but it is kind of exciting right and maybe there's some good stuff in here so we'll have to see and as always if you guys want to purchase one of these yourself i don't have any kind of codes or anything this isn't sponsored but i will leave the link down below so you guys can check it out and this box is full this box is packed so here's a little oh, overview of the box it, of the shoes and i think these are pre-owned i'm not 100 percent sure i don't remember what the listing said but let's get into it okay so here is the first pair of boots <clears throat> which is perfect because boot season is right around the corner um i don't think these are used because the bottoms are like absolutely clean let's see what brand these are so these are steve madden these are the i love steve madden because it has the style name on the inside usually if i could find it yeah so these are the over the knee oh they're just called the otk boot which stands for over the knee so that's what they look like i sell steve madden occasionally i don't know about this <clears throat> particular style i'll have to look it up but there's that so that's shoe number one this next pair okay <clears throat> these are definitely used actually that's weird okay so these look brand new as well but they are dirty on the top they have a bunch of stains on them so i'm not sure how i'll be getting those out these are by soul society which i don't think sells for a lot so i think these are sold at like nordstrom and they're a size 11. okay these are definitely used and these are minnetonka there's a tag um, these are pretty busted. I'll probably end up, like, re-donating these because I just, I don't know, with shoes like this, it, I, it's hard for me to resell because I know I've pair, owned a pair like this and it kind of gets, you know, questionable on the inside and I really wouldn't want to be wearing these if somebody else already had their sweaty feet in them. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but 
Probably gonna redonate those. Okay, I'm pretty sure these are men's shoes. These are Vans. These are also pretty worn. Um, and these are size eight and a half in men's. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if Play-Dohs would take these because they are kind of worn. Okay, here's a fun pair. I swear the, they had these at my Goodwill for $50 and nobody bought them, but these are Michael Kors. They're like a brown suede wedge. Um, these aren't bad. They are worn. I mean, they're used. There's a seven and a half, but I'm not sure on comps on Michael Kors, but this is probably, this is good. I'm not mad at this. Okay, here's a pair of Nikes, and you know these, I've, I've sold like some pretty busted up pairs of Nike free runs, and they still sold for like $25, and I mean I got those ones for a good price, so I should still be able to sell these, they are worn, but they're not that bad, and these are a size, oh yeah, these are a size 9. I think it's a women's 9. Okay, here's a pair of Converse that are like turning yellow, kind of on the sole here so these are kind of disappointing and they're like tearing along the edges i would not have picked these up at the thrift store i mean to be honest i probably wouldn't have picked up anything i've i've, I've taken out of the box so far let's see okay oh these are two different shoes i swear i thought these were the same they're not let's find a pair or did they also no okay here so this is by the brand I don't even know. It doesn't even have the tag on the inside. How am I supposed to know what the MSRP is if there's no brand on the inside? Oh no, this is that, um, this might be, I have no idea. It's like barely there. I don't know if you can see that, but that silver, that's all that's there. So I can't even tell, like, if this, I, I don't even know what brand this is, so I can't, I don't know. They're, I mean, they're, they're kind of cute. Maybe I'll take these into Play-Dohs because they're not bad. They're not ugly. They just don't have a brand on them. Okay, these ones are Dolce Vita. These are cute, I guess. Um, I can't find the other one, though. It's all the way on the bottom. Oh, no. Oh, my God. How many perforated boots are in here? Where are you? Where'd you go? Ugh, are you it? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pause on this one because I can't find the mate for it. Uh, what else do we got in here? Okay, these are strapped together, so this will be easy. These are it says K and K on the bottom, which is Kelly and Katie. And uh, okay, I have no idea what brand these are, but. They're just like a lace-up black heel. They're like suede. The heels are pretty like scuffed and messed up. <sighs> I was so excited about this box and now I'm sad. Okay, where are you? Where's the pair? One thing I will have to say is that like they just threw the, the shoes in there and didn't care like if they're right next to each other. They didn't strap all of them together. And so it's like, I don't know. That's like my issue with uh, shoe reseller boxes is that like nobody ever packs them well and it's like they're going to scuff each other, right? They're going to damage each other and just because, I don't, I don't know. Okay, end rant. These are Franco Sarto little ankle boots. These aren't bad. They have little um, buckles on the side. I don't remember, I have to put a, a breakdown of how much I paid for everything so I can figure out if I can actually profit off of these. Um, but these are in good condition. They're just a small size, I think. Yeah, a 7, a UK 5. Okay, I'm just going to get these out of the way. They're a pair of Crocs. And they're like the fuzzy kinds inside, which I just, I don't feel comfortable. Like, I don't know. These are a size men's 9 or women's 11. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Okay, and the last time I unboxed a shoe box that I wasn't, like, super excited about, it was actually a Jomar box, I got a lot of hate in the comments saying that um, I didn't know anything about shoes and that I could resell all of it and make a profit. I just didn't want to put in the work or whatever. And I mean, fair. That's fair enough to say, but 
yeah, like I don't want to do the work. So <laughs> let me know your guys' thoughts. Would you put in the work to do this? Do you think that this, do you like to clean shoes? Because I don't. I don't like to clean anything, honestly. It's Kelsey Dagger, and these are bad. They're another perforated little peep toe booty. Um, I don't think Kelsey Dagger sells for a lot, but these are a nine and a half. This is just like a like a thread up shoe box. That's like what I would expect. Okay, here is another pair of shoes, a boots. These are leather. There's no brand. This is all it says on the bottom. So if anybody knows what that means, hit me up. Let me know. But they got like a a this lace up detail on the side, and there's no tag on the inside or any brand or anything. So I don't I don't know what to do with these. Okay, here's another. Oh, here's a pair of Sperry's, but these are dirty. Like this is I don't know if it's coming up on here, but these used to be white, and they are no longer white. They're like a gray, like a light beigey gray color now. So, I don't know. Here is another pair of Converse, and of course they're white and really dirty. If these were my size, I'd, I'd keep them. They're a woman's size 7, so they might be big on... I'll try them on, because I really want white Converse. I, I'll keep these if they fit me, but if not, I don't know. I finally found the other pair of these, and these are Dolce Vita. Pretty sure they were sold at like Ross or Marshalls, because that's where that sticker comes from. Just another perforated boot, like the third or fourth one in here. <laughs> and these are size 8. Oh my gosh, okay, these are Uggs, another little like... Ones with the furry inside, and I'm just not feeling it. I'll have to look up comps, like do... People really like wearing those used. I don't understand that. Those are like house slippers to me. Here are another pair of Uggs, but these are like sneakers and they are just extremely dirty. I don't know if they're supposed to have laces, but they don't have any. My hands feel so dirty. Oh gosh, here's another pair of Steve Madden's, but they are super, uh, no, okay, not super, but they got like some discoloration on them and scuffs and these are a size seven and a half i feel these retail for a lot i know that these retail for around like a hundred dollars which i guess isn't a lot a lot but you know what i mean these retail for around a hundred dollars but the resale rate on these is maybe like 15 maybe 15 dollars especially since they're like not in great condition and this is the last pair, another pair of Steve Madden's, these wedges, I mean these are okay, I just don't think they're like in style, so I'm not sure how these will do, but I'm sad. <laughs> I was looking forward to it, but I mean, I guess that's what I get for, you know, falling for an Instagram ad with an account that had like no reviews or anything. My order number was even like 1006, which I'm pretty sure means I was the sixth person to buy something. And I mean, I don't want to hate on the business or the owner. Like, I don't want to say anything negative. I'm just disappointed in the box. Um, I should have, I don't even think there was any really description on it. I'll post it up here if I can find it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there was a description and I just like didn't read it. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Would you buy this? Did you see this ad on your Instagram account? Let me know. I want to know. And yeah, I know somebody else like reached out to me because I messaged like I commented on their Instagram because I wanted to know when my order was going to ship because it took a little while. It took like a few days for the shipping to update even though it said it had been shipped. So I was like kind of concerned at first. So I commented on their page and I even DM'd them. They left me on red. And um, another person like saw my comment and was like, did you get your box? Because I bought one and I think I'm getting scammed. And I mean, I didn't get scammed. I wouldn't call this a scam. I just would call it um, a false advertising. So I'm sorry. I feel bad. But now you know, if you see a vaulted closet ad on your Instagram, um, don't do it. 
I'm sorry, but don't do it. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found this entertaining. <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Bye!